another one. I have two months to just study Python or another programming language and build projects. I can realistically study for 10-ish hours a day. So how should I start with it? Is it possible to become a junior developer in such a time frame? That is a great question. Is it possible to become a junior developer in two months? Let's start the clock. So um, I guess it depends on what you mean by junior, right? What exactly is a junior engineer or junior developer? I guess is anyone, I mean, I don't know if that's defined really, like what's a junior, is it like if you, okay, if you write one line, if you write hello world, right? The, 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 the first thing that everyone writes, hello world or hello tech coach Ralph, does that make me a junior developer? I would say it does not make me a junior developer because I can write one line of code, the most basic code of hello Ralph, right? So, I, and I would say here, I would say this, there is no possible way that somebody can realistically study 10 hours of code per day. It's just, your, your mind can't take that much code. I can't even write code. Like, I know how to do automation and how to write code and stuff like that. I can't write code for 10 hours a day, let alone study something new for 10 hours a day. Your, your brain is going to get fried that way. I could, I, could, I could work on writing code, and if I'm stuck on something, if I'm building something, I can work on it for a few hours out of the day. But to sit down and, and study something totally new for 10 hours a day, I don't think it's possible because... When you're studying, you have to go over the things over and over and over again to for it to retain, and you need to you need to build something and things like that. So when it so to say to, to ask the question of like to say that you can study for ten hours a day, I don't believe it. I think it's too hard, right? Now um, I don't I don't understand why you only have two months to, or why you have two months to learn. Is it because you have something that's happening in between those two months? But I also don't think you're going to become a junior developer in, in, in two months. And why don't I believe you're going to become a junior developer in two months? Because there is a lot of things that go, that go in with, um, with programming, developing, learning infrastructure, learning the right coding methods, learning how to write unit tests. Do, do you know how many people who, have, who are software engineers, but they don't know how to write unit tests, they don't, they, they don't know what test-driven development is, they, they don't know what testing is. Um, they don't know how to, especially like the full stack developers, they don't know how to add IDs to their, to their HTML code so that it can be easily testable. And without, without, like, they don't know how to use Jira. They don't know what Scrum is. They don't know what Agile is. To me, being even, like, to be a junior, a junior developer, you need to know how to use these tools. Just because you can write some code in Python or in Java um, and things like that, that doesn't make you a, it just make it just means you know how to code. You know how to write some code, but how about writing? I would say for you to become a, a junior developer, you would need to actually write some production ready code. So code that has tests, code that goes through the pipeline, um, that, that, that can stand up, that can be actually presented. It doesn't have to be the best code, but it needs to be something that's going to work. Something that adds value into the world, right? I always talk about I always talk about Calculus Coder, Jared at Calculus Coder, and how and how he built an app, the one that we've been like the one that we've been automating on on Thursday nights. But he built an app, and he put it out there, and he got actual live users on and stuff and stuff, right? And in automating it, in 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 writing tests for it, automating it, there I found a, I found a few things that could be done better. But the fact that he actually put it out there is what is the cool part and what was allowed what allowed me the ability to give feedback and in his next iteration he's going to make some adjustments some enhancements and 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 implement the feedback that was given you know so i i just think that i just think that the goal for two months to become a junior developer is a bit bullish and hard to pull off because the projects that you plan to build 
what value are you, are, are they going to bring? Where are they? Go, who who's going to see them? Are are they going to to go to the graveyard of GitHub, right? The graveyard of GitHub is your GitHub repo because if if you just have stuff there but nobody looks at it, then who cares? Build stuff that is actually going to add value into the world, and I think that when you do that, that is when you are going to actually become that junior developer where where you you understand what user stories are, what a, a refinement is, what a retrospective is, what a daily standup is, what a sprint planning is, how to use Jira. And that's one of the ways that I coach. I, 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 put, I put my coaching team in that environment so that they can actually build real world, real life experience. And then they can have things to talk about in their interviews, on their resumes and stuff like that. So two months to become a junior developer, it's... It doesn't work that way. I mean, I guess you're a junior developer if you can write some code, but there's so many other factors that play into becoming a, a developer in, in general. You know, it's not just about being able to write some Python script. It's more, it's more about how do I collaborate? How do I work together with a team? And how do I produce good, clean code, right? Good, clean code. So that is my thought on it. That's my take, okay? So let's wrap that question up. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to tech coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.